really weird because I generally struggle to buy like clothes for myself, right? Because I just use them and they, you can continue using them and things like that. But regardless, that's going to be something for, for later on today because we do have Sark against High Ruler. This is winner's round one actually from his pool uh, advancing after that. So let's see how that's going to work out right now. Yeah, I would expect the uh, Stark to be the, the top player, top player here. Uh, but yeah, still really even at the start of the match, uh, no one with the, with a clear advantage. Uh, let's see how it goes. Yeah. Okay. So we we are on Fountain of Dreams, which is you know we have already seen this matchup quite a lot. Uh, you yeah. know, from like the forward air, the, the hatchet, right? The ooh, is that gonna kill? Not quite yet. And it's, and it's really good to see how the usage of the platforms is going to work right here because we have known for a fact, okay, jab, jab, yeah. down, tilt, perfect stuff. And it's going to see, yeah, just grabs the ledge. Very, very well done right here by High Ruler that does not want to leave anything up to chance because maybe yeah. Fox will recover because of that. And just is like, no, I, I'm not letting that happen. Yeah, yeah notice that we, we started on Phantom of Dreams, which, te which tends to be the the counter pick for Sheik mains. However, you know, maybe Stark just thinks that he wants a smaller space or he, he maybe he doesn't uh, like Battlefield, so he strikes that. Uh, in any case, uh, nice uh, com little combo right there for for Stark. Uh, Edgar positioned in the middle to finish it, but now it's turn for, for High Ruler to take the stuff. Let's see if that is the case. He does snap towards the ledge. We're going to see the down throw tech case situation. Oh, actually, crowd cancels the dash attack and actually gets the the, just the, the weak hit right here of the back air. Gonna try to go for the ledge. No grabbing the ledge once again. And just goes in, right. du double jab, up smash, jab one, two, up smash. Just really doesn't want anything to be left to any sort of like chance or anything like that. He just goes for it, gets the stock, and now he's trying to push that lead even further. Yeah, a bit of adaptation from from Stark, you know, now he's, he's able to take the lead. It's just that the, there was those positions that he, he maybe he put in the, himself in an edge position and that wasn't really the right way to meet. Great recognizement right there by, by Heroler by recognizing that he's gonna be there and just taking him taking him out with a with a fair. He managed to take that stock, not the best DI obviously you are not expecting to get hit by that. Uh, maybe he just was expecting to go directly to the stage. But now he uh, still uh, managing to get big damage every time he gets an opportunity uh, for Star. Yeah, and it's and it's really rough sometimes because you have like these tech situations, especially on the platform, that that really just you have every single one of your options covered. And right now, like, Jesus Christ, I knew what that SDI is absolutely breaking it. But at this point, yeah, he, he knew for a fact that he had to continue grabbing the ledge because High Ruler has been recovering every single time there. Because the one time that he didn't, he got money off of it. That's right. Uh, he's getting high, babe. If you look at the at the camp from High Ruler, not only is he managing to get it close to get him close uh, a close match, is He's also getting hyped. He, he seems to be on that uh, you know, killer instinct mode, and you know it's, it's working because that lead that he uh, the Stark used to have it vanishes pretty much right away, and now they're, they're both at pretty much the same percentage. Yeah, it's and, and it's really nice because uh, because we saw uh, Stark actually start off with the lead, and then High Ruler just started to bring it back right here. He goes for the down smash. That could be it. Yep, and it goes is in for the Fox Killer, and that's enough. Great. That is enough. Great stuff right there from High yeah, Ruler. Small upset in my opinion because I was expecting Stark to win. However, uh, High Ruler getting the uh, getting creased on that last dog because uh, he was pretty much losing most of the game. Well, at the beginning, you know. Uh, he had a good dash guard uh, against Stark, but uh, for the most part, uh, Stark felt in control. Uh, however, at the end, you know, he managed to, to bring it back, make the correct adaptation, and now uh, he's the one with the lead. Now, where are we going to go? That's always interesting. I love, I love talking about stages just because, you know, that tells me a lot about, uh, you know, what's the game plan for him. In this case, again, Yoshi's story, like I mentioned many times uh, on streams before, uh, you know, the close page. He doesn't want him to play defensively or anything like that. He thinks that he can manage to close those uh, kills easier on this stage, which is why you, you pick a smaller stage. Yeah, definitely right here. Okay, he does recover high. So, oh, he actually tried to go in for the second up, but that could have been it. Duh, of course, shine up smash. Hey, Jesus. Yeah, Killing yeah. under 100%. Wow. And just because it's just his story, right? Yeah. Really not something that you expect, even on Yoshi's story. Yeah. Still, <laughs> like, it just catches you off guard every single time because uh, you do kill faster because you are fucked. Oh my god, that's gonna be that's, it. Yep. That's the second time he catches him with that, uh, with that chain. Oh. Another one of those, uh, those Yoshi story kills, right? Because uh, in another stage, that probably wouldn't have killed maybe on a Pokemon Stadium, but that's it, right? And uh, in this case, uh, trying to, to keep up the beat uh, for, for him earlier. However, it's been too fast for, for him to, to manage to adapt. The starter, the start just uh, going with the, with the leash right now. Yeah, and it's, and, it, and it's rough because like you have Hyrule, the one that did win that last game. 
uh, just dying off the top. My man has, stopped, has to stop doing those off the bro. Like, I have not worked a single time. Yeah, I mean, it was a great showing at, at the end of the last game. However, now he, he's looking kind of lost. Uh, maybe maybe he's just uh, saving his stamina for the, for the next game. This one is looking, is looking rough to make a comeback as a Chris Dog. Not able to, to get that Edgar. And he's been really, uh, Stark has been really good with those shines. Uh, even though he, he uh, finally, finally uh, cleans that up. Yeah, finally right here. And let's see. Oh, he actually grabs the ledge, that double buff. And that's going to be... Ooh, is that, oh, I thought that almost could have been a kill right here. But just a conversion from, from Stark not working out within his favor. A little bit on the execution side. Oh my god, what a great... Yeah, just that finally gets a hit on that ult smash. And that's going to be the hatchet. And he recovers high. We're going to see the Fox Killer. No. Is this another comeback on the last stock? Could it be? I and think so. Uh, I, I that's bet on great. I mean, that, that just means <laughs> my, my man is clutch, but Never mind. not able to make it. They just uh, got him with that ult smash underneath him, right? Uh, Chick, uh, unfortunately, not, not the best one with those, uh, those aerials, uh, you know, especially short combat aerials, not the, the strongest part for Chick. But, uh, you know, Stark able to clean that, that last stock, and now we're going to a third stock, uh, sorry, a third game again. Uh, where are they going? Um, hmm, it seems like we're going to Dreamland. Dreamland. It seems like we are going to Dreamland. I think that, uh, you know, High Ruler actually felt that yeah. his survivability was severely affected by the fact that, you know, Founder Dreams, very, I'm sorry, uh, yeah, Yoshi's story, right? uh, a little bit on the smaller stage regarding it. So he just wanted to play a little bit on something that's a little bit bigger, increase his survivability right here. But at the end, at the same time, it does also increase Fox's survivability. So you got to be careful with that. That's correct. But, uh, but I agree. And I think that the, if you are here earlier, you saw your, that your survivability really got diminished that last game. There, was two, there were two stocks that only were possible because because of uh, Yoshi's story, right? In this case, he's gonna be able to recover more. He, he, they take his stock, yeah. but uh, you know, it's still more opportunities. And you know, at least you don't feel robbed like uh, like those other stocks on uh, Yoshi's story. And he's also also able to do this, which you are not able to do in Yoshi's story. Yeah, not at all, because you know, for a fact that you know, uh, just going off the ledge right there and getting that back air is just basically going to guarantee that Fox does not recover because of how that stage, uh, the, the ledge is distributed, right? Of course, with the uh, with the angles. That can be quite uncomfortable at times, especially for Fox, even though we do see them with the with the great angles and things like that. But it's just, it just doesn't happen. Yeah, that's correct. Finally, uh, really bold, the, the smallest of leads for the ruler on this, uh, on this the last game. Uh, but that's how you started. I mean, it's been really close all of the games. And uh, I mean, Stark, Stark really hits really hard. I mean, every time uh, he gets an opportunity, he gets a lot of damage. Uh, however, he does get reversal a lot as well. We see, we've seen that a couple of times that he gets reversal, and all of a sudden, he's the one on the edge guard position, the one that needs to recover. Uh, in this case, uh, managing finding the Avis, but it's not finished. He gets the stage shots. Good what match by him, but uh, you know. Not enough. Uh, finally, with that fair, take this one. Gets in with the hatchet right there. Ooh, yeah, at that point, even even on Dreamland, my man, 120%, you're gone. That's it. That's enough. And this is very, this is dead even. Yeah, yeah, that's that's awesome to see. Uh, that's what I wanted to see. Third game. Finally, the tech chest, this is the first time we see them. And actually, he doesn't look like he's the most comfortable since uh, he actually did lose, uh, lose the, the tech chest right there. Uh, Stark. I mean, they, I don't know how they do it, but every time I look, uh, they just keep the percentage so close. Yeah, and and, and if, if you just turn around for a moment, it's like okay, they're they're close with the percent. Oh my oh. God, he charged it completely, and even with he the best hand in the, the world, in, all the time in the world. Yeah, to charge that, that I, was not, I wasn't <laughs> expecting that. I, I would have just uh, let go immediately, but finally with the with the lead, biggest lead we've seen this game, and uh, this is an important one to have because uh, you don't want to go into a last stop situation because everything can happen there. Yeah, yeah, it's uh, okay. He tries Whoa, it. Oh, what a great shine reversal right here those forwards as well uh-huh they're doing very they're doing very very good oh that, that should have been a fair yeah that, that's that's the spaghetti coming out of the last game right? <laughs> yeah execution errors are the last thing that you want to see oh that's, yeah, it. that's oh it. my good. god good by stark you know great to see him uh, another cool commu uh, community community fear fear head here on uh, on our scene uh, I think uh, we're gonna switch commentators we'll never know actually we, we don't know you were, you were going to ask me something then we got interrupted and uh, you did finally ask me, you you like socks, right? For gifts? <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, so like, the thing is, I've never like bought things for myself. I've never been like a myself type of thing, type of guy. I love myself, and I I want to make that very very clear. Like, I love myself. I'm 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 the best guy I can be. 
at least for now. But I can, of course, I can still get better. But I've never really been like one to like buy like, oh, this is a, it's a good pair of pants. Like as long as it works, you know. Yeah. So my mom actually taught, started telling me like you need to buy yourself, uh, you know, like those type of things because if you look good, you feel good. Yeah. yeah. Right. So that's I started buy like you know like clothes and things like that, socks. They really work out a lot. And I actually want to see uh, within the chat what they what they like to get for like gifts, right? Man. I never read chat. It's just not my thing. Just, uh, just usually ignore it. But I was <laughs> reading it uh, just uh, you know, to see what, what they were saying in this couple. And of they minutes. actually they, agree they, with they, you. They, no, no. And they had some comments. Man, that they're, sometimes they're funny. You know? Yeah. Chat, chat sometimes is funny. I had some guy was saying that the Stark looked like Sam Solek. The chat <laughs> it was hilarious. And then the, the uh, other guy looking like Pablo Escobar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh my god. No. Y'all, uh, y'all are funny, chat. Yeah, just yeah. we're, you're, we're gonna give you this time you were funny <laughs> yeah, yeah. for me just this time i'm not usually reading chat by the way s2a coming into play well, we gotta uh, change we gotta I change think right we are now. Changed. i'm just uh -huh. uh, making this longer but i'm finally 